This is a bit awkward. Uh, for those of you that have been watching the show for a long time, sorry. Uh, um, you probably know that uh, Chris, uh, dressed as Gunter here, is a regular on the show, and then, uh, you know, we have a, a new arrival here, this is Bridger, and people have said to me, hey, wait, are you replacing Chris with Bridger? Yes. No. <laughs> Look, just because two guys happen to be the same adorable guys... <laughs> Look, I've got an idea for a show. You guys share an apartment, right? You're the neat one, and you're the... No, you're the neat one. And you're the, the slobby one, and you... It'll be awesome. <laughs> Did you guys meet before? Are you competitive with each other in some way? I don't know. No. You know, I don't know. This is kind of weird, but uh, I think we need to take a step back and look at what's really happening here. <laughs> All right. I think you're trying to get us to fight over you. Um, <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Why? That's a crazy idea. What kind of fight are you talking about? Underpants pillow fight? <laughs> no, I just want you to know that there's room in this show for both of you. And a Dalek. And a skeleton robot. <laughs> but not... Well, but not me. Yes. I resign. <laughs> I leave you in the capable hands of Bridger and Chris. The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by T-Mobile. The new T-Mobile My Touch 4G has you covered on America's largest 4G network. Imagine you were at a place you really wanted to be. <laughs> Go to a happy place. Imagine you really got into The Price is Right and you weren't stuck here. <laughs> there was real hatred in that laugh there. Did you hear it? <laughs> ah oh, if only we were watching Thin Drew Carey now. <laughs> Instead of Guy, we don't even know who he is. <laughs> Think of me as Scottish Drew Carey. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but you're wrong. It's a great day for America. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Jeff Dalek, the uh... what's that noise there? What people? What was that? Uh... Oh, was that stomping their feet? Was that a high-pitched stomp of their feet? <laughs> Someone with very high-pitched feet? <laughs> That's a sure sign of gayness. <laughs> beep, beep, beep! Can you say that on TV? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, look, do you watch the Dancing with the Stars? Do you watch... I don't either, but there was a senior... <laughs> 
But the, there was <laughs> there was a scene. A lot of people love that show with the horn. Oh, da, da, da. If I wanted to see some C-grade celebrity dancing badly, I'd look in a mirror. But 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 there was a. <laughs> There was a senior citizen was arrested last night after he shot his TV during Dancing with the Stars. It's true, apparently he was upset Bristol Palin didn't get kicked off, and I'm like, oh, come on. It's been two years. Get over it, John McCain. Get over it. <laughs> I would have won if I weren't for you. <laughs> The county of Los Angeles has banned plastic bags. And I'm like, oh, no, you know what this means? Randy Quaid's got to find new shoes. That's a good one. <laughs> no, it's not, but the audience is highly paid. Do you know that People magazine have named their sexiest man alive? And again, I was robbed because I... No, not because of what you think. I, wa I wasn't allowed to be a judge. They should have me do it. According to uh, People, the sexiest man alive is Ryan Reynolds. And I've got to even met. He is quite sexy. We have a picture of Ryan Reynolds? There he is. Uh, yeah, that's... It's a great day over in, uh, for our friends over in the UK, because uh, everyone over there is talking about Prince William's engagement. He's marrying his longtime girlfriend, Kate Middleton. Do we have a picture of Kate Middleton? There she is. No, that, she looks nice. She's, like, normal looking. She's not like... Bleh. She looks like, uh, like Kira Knightley or something. Can I see about you? Yeah, a little, a little bit like Kira Knightley uh, the day after Thanksgiving, you know. <laughs> She looks like a, someone that's actually eaten something recently. <laughs> According to British law, once the Kate marries, and be, she becomes uh, third in line to the, uh, the throne of England. Uh, she's, she, she's third in line to be queen. So move over, Elton John. Now, of course, <laughs> the entire royal family is elated. William reportedly sat down at breakfast and said to Prince Charles, Dad, I have great news. And Charles said, Grandma's dead? And he said, No. <laughs> Prince Charles, he's, Prince Charles, he's very, he's afraid he'll never be king. He spends more time hugging that throne than a bulimic supermodel. But after he heard the news, <laughs> after he heard the news, Prince Charles took his son aside and said, son, marriage is a lot of hard work. <laughs> I know because someone once told me what hard work was and it sounded a bit like marriage. <laughs> Now, I make fun of Prince Charles, but it's not fair. He seems like he's done a decent job raising those sons. William and Harry both went into the military. Uh, Harry risked his life in Afghanistan. William is uh, a rescue helicopter pilot for the RAF. Actually, had his first rescue mission last month. He swooped down and saved someone from eating British food. He... <laughs> Don't do it! Blood pudding is actually made of blood! What? <laughs> I can't hear you over the helicopter! <laughs> If you're British, you might as well be excited about the royal wedding because you're paying for it. But a lot of people... <laughs> Some British people, the British people, think that your favourite royal says a lot about who you are. For instance, if your favourite royal is Queen Elizabeth, you're distinguished and respectful. If your favourite royal is Prince Harry, you're impish and irreverent. If your favourite royal is uh, Prince Charles, you're Prince Charles. <laughs> I don't know, no, 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 knock it off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's that for that? That drives me crazy. This is another reason why I like robots and Daleks. What they, they never, over there. There you go. <laughs> Daleks never spontaneously clap over no reason. <laughs> and neither do very cheap robots. You know, anyway, look, the royal marriage thing. Uh, Prince William and uh, Kate Mid Middleton, they started dating in college. They were sharing a house with a bunch of other students and they started hooking up, which must have been a very difficult choice for Kate. She's like, hmm, should I hook up with Nigel, who has great weed, or, or William, who's the future king of England? I would have gone with Nigel. In fact, I did. Call me Nigel. Anyway... 
For years, though, there were rumours that the royal family uh, didn't approve of Kate, you know, because she looks nice and pretty and everything, but our, our family harbours a terrible secret. They made their own money. <laughs> No, she's considered a commoner. That's what they call them, commoner, because their family made their own money, and, you know, she, she wasn't born into a family, you know, where, you know, hundreds of years ago, psychopaths stole all the land from other people. And... <laughs> that would be... That would be being really great to be... You know, she, uh, but no, not like here. We respect people in the United States that make their own fortunes the old-fashioned way, you know, through government bailouts. That's how we do it. You're right. Hey, uh, we have to take a commercial break. Why is the Daleks still here? The Doctor Who thing was last, uh, last night, wasn't it? Daleks travel through time. Bastards. <laughs> you never know when they're going to be here, Daleks. They come, they go as they please. And if you're that evil and deadly, you can do what you like, really. <laughs> Are you all right? Spots, Craig. What, spots? You mean commercial spots? Enjoy all the products advertised. <laughs> Someone's paying you, aren't they? In your pants. In your pants. In your In pants. Your In, In your, your pants. In your... <laughs> In your pants. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Jeffrey Pearson? Tweets and emails, Craig. You got it! Play the jingle! Twitter. Tweets will set you free. Try Sheridan. Twitter. Tweet the night with me. Check the tweets. And, and also, also email. email. Oh, wow. go it was just there and now it's not there <laughs> that's the thing about daleks they can't be tamed in your pants oh, no. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. um all right this is from uh, ramona in philadelphia um uh, <laughs> Ramona says, uh, hi, Craig, do you think you'll be invited to the royal wedding? You bet I will. <laughs> I'm just the type of guy they want there. Um, cheap. <laughs> do you get paid for going to a royal wedding? No, it's probably a great honor to go to a royal wedding. Yes, your majesty. It's like going to a Ren fair, except... <laughs> it's real. Um, do, 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 do. this is from Monica in uh, Washington, D.C. <laughs> Monica in Washington? Is she still... <laughs> no. No. Really? I did not have sex with that woman. <laughs> Well, all right, define sex. <laughs> uh, Monica says, uh, Craig, since you're into fashion, <laughs> is it okay for me to still be wearing white jeans this time of year? Can't be that, Monica. <laughs> she no longer is entitled to wear white jeans. <laughs> Oh, this is from Emily in Wichita, Kansas. Oh, I love that song. Wichita Lineman. Wichita Lineman. Way down the lane. 
Thanks. I don't know if that was a woo or just an echo of my... Oh. <laughs> Emily says, Dear Craig, do you get new harmonicas for each guest or do you have a secret pleasure watching them unknowingly swap spit with your former guest? <laughs> oh, yeah. There's going to be a big old herpes outbreak soon. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Um, this is, uh, wait a minute, who's it? Oh, no, it's Secretariat! Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Jennifer, uh, says... This is Jennifer in Kentucky. Uh... Hey, Kentucky was that place where that guy yesterday ate his own beard. Uh, he said, uh, no, he didn't. Uh, Jennifer, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a lady, I think. Um, says, uh, dear Craig, is it wrong to do the secretariat dance while having sex? <laughs> well, it's not necessarily wrong, but it's risky. <laughs> Well, let's break it down a little bit, shall we? The, secre the secretariat dance is kind of a very slowly, it's like this. <laughs> so, if you're kind of having the not really sex sex perfected by Monica in Washington, <laughs> And I'm sure it would be fine. <laughs> Watch and we'll have a look at full speed. Are you ready? Who's out of the door? Right. Yeah, well, who's right? We'll take a break. We'll be right back. All right. And welcome back, Dalek, who went away, and then I was back. It's really freaking me out. <laughs> it's that Dalek looking at my ass. <laughs> like what you see? <laughs> Mr. Plungy? <laughs> yes, that's his name, Mr. Plungy. You might as well know. My uh, first guest tonight is a huge movie star. He's in a movie called The Next Three Days, which is in theaters on Friday. Take a look at this. What do you want to know? How you escaped when no one else could. No prison in the world is that tight. Each one has a key. You just have to find it. You have to know where you're going to go and how you're going to get there. You have to know how they plan to catch you. From the time they make the call, the police come up the center of the city sealed tight in 15 minutes. Within 35 minutes, they can have cops at every toll booth on the interstate. What if you can't get out? 35 minutes is not a lot of time. And surrender, because they will shoot you on sight. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's a movie. No gay vampires, no! <laughs> you know, it's a movie with movie stars doing stuff and drawing maps and things on things. <laughs> and cops getting ready and the music going... Dun, 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 dun. It's like a movie, like a proper movie where you go, yeah! <laughs> the trailer for the Justin Bieber movie. Have you seen that? <laughs> Have you seen that? They said he'd never make it. He's 17! <laughs> how long were they saying it? <laughs> they said I'd never make it. For how long did they say it? About six weeks. <laughs> anyway, not that. Th this. My, my first guest, the great big movie star in a proper movie, Russell Crowe, everybody. Russell Crowe. Welcome, Russell. 
Good evening, Craig. How are you? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. How are you? You look I'm nice, dear. You look Thank nice. You're all in black, like Thank a proper love. movie star in a proper movie. Yes. I wore uh, sunglasses to the premiere last night. Did you really? Yeah, it was night time. <laughs> you know that makes you a bit of a douche. <laughs> but you wouldn't say that if it was Snoop Dogg or RZA, would you? No. No, sir, I would not, because, see, for I, I would be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> what I worked out is that they're just trying to save their eyesight because of the flashes and stuff. So oh, I thought, right. you know what? I'm going to take a leaf out of their book and I shall wear sunglasses at night as well. <laughs> All right, man, if you can carry it off, good. Fair play to you. That's what but I said. Before I did it, I, I forgave myself. Right, that's good. You've got to do that. Yep. Yeah. By the way, yes. it's great that we're promoting this particular movie it's on this particular movie. It's show. It's a good movie. It's a proper movie. But dun, dun, the, dun, 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 the director's dun. name, of director's course, name? is Haggis. Paul Haggis, I love Paul. He's been on this show many times and right. he's named after a delicious sausage from my own country. You know, when my, when my dad was a uh, pub manager, right, right, we had a particular barmaid who... Uh, well, she wasn't the sharpest knife in the drawer. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, but I know she what was you mean, a yeah. very good barmaid. Yeah. You know? And my dad had been taught by the old school, you know, where big Ooh, la, la. sell more beer. <laughs> you know what? Hold on, a minute ago, you had the Dalek looking at your ass. You had the two gay guys out here competing for a job. I say, Ooh, la, la. there's a problem. Yeah. What has happened to hey. America? Hey. I don't, I don't hey. make the rules, man. I don't make them. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so this. He's gonna, right, though. He's gonna, right. You can't argue with that. He's right. <laughs> I'm going to try and avoid saying her name because I don't want her to be embarrassed because she will eventually see the show. But um, she was always asking my father for advice on normal things, you know. And one of them was, was coming up to St Andrew's Day and my dad likes to actually make a haggis every now and then, you know. Right. Um, and so he was, he was, he was making it and, and uh, he had signs up around the, the bar that she worked in. And she came to him after a while and she said, Mr Crow, Mr Crow, can you tell me what is a haggis? Because everybody's asking me and I just don't know. No, oh, all yeah. right. <laughs> so my dad... Can, can you do the pressure, you know... <laughs> Give me an idea. Give me an idea. I'm sure I'm doing enough. No, no, no. <laughs> Mr. Crow, like that. You're saying I'm not big enough for no, you? No, I'm just saying you, you can, can throw yourself into the fart a little more, that's anyway. all. <laughs> you haven't got to the rest of the story. All right, then, yeah, okay. Yeah, anyway, so my, my dad is a leg puller of the highest order, you know, right. and the opportunity, you know, it was a split-second thing, you know, you know, could you please tell me what haggis... And he, and he goes... I nearly said a name. <laughs> <laughs> he said, a haggis... A haggis is an eight-legged spider that lives on the rocky coast of Scotland. Right. And once a year, the Scottish natives <laughs> will go down <laughs> yeah, right. to the rocky shoreline yeah. with some very strong pepper. <laughs> they sprinkle the pepper on the rocks. Right. And when this large, eight-legged, hairy spider... Most spiders have got eight legs, Ross. She didn't know that. Right, OK. She's asking about haggis. Yeah, I understand. On St Andrew's Day, that was just a little extra detail right, to no, it's good. help it's her good. along. No, no, I like your dad for this. They will... The spiders will come out intrigued as to what the odour is All right. and smell the pepper, <laughs> immediately sneeze, sneeze of course. <laughs> yes. knock themselves out on the rocks and the natives of Scotland will come along and pick them up, take them home and cook them, and which is what I'm doing now. So go and tell everybody that, which she did for the whole day. Does she know now that it's, that's actually a little bit of a fabrication, that haggis is... <laughs> Well, that was probably about 1976 he did that gag, so you'd right. hope that she'd picked up on it. I don't know. We used to tell all sorts of stories about haggis, which is no one really wants to know the awful truth. It's kind of like... The awful awful truth. truth. The awful, awful truth, exactly so. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. You know, oh, yeah. Realize it. It's amazing. No wonder you have this job. Oh, I didn't know you were going to be talking like this, Russell. <laughs> You know what, if you want, we can talk like this for the entire interview. Oh, yeah. fine. Considering I wore sunglasses at night last night, oh. I can do anything. I let me ask you, will you be going to the royal wedding? Oh, I hope oh, so. Oh, me too. I hope so. Oh, me too. Hey. Now, is the Queen, uh, is the Queen still the Queen of Australia? Did you guys have a vote about it? Is she still the Queen of Australia? Or she, yes, she, she's the head of the head of state, yeah. Right. Yeah. So she can come over there and drink free any pub in the country. 
No. Yep. yep. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah that's it. I, 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 I would probably say you wouldn't find a single hotel owner in Australia that would charge Elizabeth if she came in the door asking for a sherry. That, you know, that, that must be a, a, a nice feeling to know that there's an entire country where you can drink for free. <laughs> must, must be, be like being Russell Crowe in many ways. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Yes. Did you get uh, Doctor Who in Australia? Did you get yeah, the Yeah, we did. Oh, I, did. I was never a fan. Oh, you're I'm, not a fan yeah, of Doctor sorry, Who? sorry, I've heard you're a bit obsessed. Well, not obsessed. Uh, yeah, a little bit obsessed. You know, you know, for me, there was never enough naked women in Doctor Who. <laughs> well, it's not that kind of thing. I mean, you can't say, oh, I don't really like, you know, sandwiches. There's no naked women in them. <laughs> things don't have naked women in them. Look, I'm a fan of naked women as much as the next man, but you can't. You can't have naked women in everything. I don't see why not. You know, I can't argue with that kind of homespun <laughs> logic. Do you still keep the horses? Yeah. Oh, do <laughs> we? Uh, <laughs> I've said hello to the boys. Oh, have you? Yeah. <clears throat> say hello to the Vagans! <laughs> Do you, uh... <laughs> you still keep the horses, I said I said I wasn't going to do that, but I thought, uh -oh. why not? Well, no, you've um, got to do it. You've got to do it. I talked to them, uh, particularly the uh, the back end, and I, 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 admired, I admired his his obvious uh, connection with the with the horse. Oh, now, oh. As, a, as a performer. Oh, yeah. He's, and the front he end is what well, he's connected his, to. His inner horse. Oh, yeah. No, yes. he's, he's very, very good. He wears sunglasses at night. He's that good. <laughs> He walks around wearing big, those big fur pads, the bottom of the horse, you see him at movie premieres, walking around, sunglasses, big fur pads. He was probably there last night. He was. Do you see him? Yeah, he was on the red carpet. Do you enjoy all that red carpet thing? How, Russell, what are you wearing, all that stuff? Um, last night was a particularly boring one. Really? Some of them are. Yeah. We did one in New York a, a week and a half ago, which was really exciting. Was well, New York's good because there's stores along the way. You can stop, go get a bit of pizza or something like that. <laughs> LA, it's just carpet. But what you tend to do, you see, is you tend to spend your whole day when you're doing these press junkets, doing these interviews right. and talking about the movie. Then you get to the red carpet and you do it again. You know, so it's sort of, uh, it starts to feel like some sort of torture at a certain point. It's almost as if you had to go to the same place every night and do the same damn thing. <laughs> Every damn night. But Why a fella might lose his tootsie fruitsie. Mine, after one. <laughs> so when I do like red carpets is when uh, my wife's with me. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because she, you know, gets all dressed up and everything, and I kind of like that. Oh, I hear where you're going. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. Naked lady business. Yeah. Well, I mean, what, what you wear on a, on a red carpet is significant, you know, bump above what you wear around the house. You know? <laughs> Can you hang around for a bit? We'll do a commercial break and we'll come back and you can tell me about that. <laughs> we'll be right back with Russell Crowe. We don't normally talk to each other when, unless the cameras are on. And I realized... Except that time you called me. <laughs> I'm wearing my red carpet outfit. <laughs> and what clan are you from, okay. son? I said. I was like, why are you doing a Pakistani accent? I said. <laughs> it's very difficult now, what, accent um, for actors what's in Scottish. Actually, is it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, Billy Boyd used to teach me the thing that you should say to a fellow, uh, to a, a Scotsman, because my family's Scottish. Yeah, yeah. From the town of Weems. Weems? Yeah. Weems Bay? Why, it's heaven on earth, sir. Is it? Weems Bay? It's, it's, it's Shangri-La, Las Vegas, and Beverly Hills rolled into somewhere nearby. <laughs> Good to hear. Good to hear. Yeah, so he said uh, the thing that you should say is Lang may your lumreek. Oh, yes, that, that's a very nice thing to say. Lang may your lumreek. It means long may your chimney smoke. Hmm. <laughs> that's the literal translation. What yeah. it really means is enjoy your penis. <laughs> it does. So do you have a, a family, you know, kilt? Yeah, yeah, a tartan. You yeah. sure? I know, a crest. I've got it tattooed on my arm. Dulcius ex aspirus, it says. What's the tartan? Uh, the tartan is just like a greeny kind of tartan and dulcius ex aspirus. What's the name of the tartan, though? 
Uh, uh, tartan. <laughs> Right, so the Weems tartan is the Black Watch. Oh, no, no, no. The Black Watch was a regiment in Scotland. That was yeah. an army regiment. And, and my tartan is Ferguson tartan, because Ferguson's oh. have their own tartan. Crows, not at all. But, uh, <laughs> Ferguson's are. Yeah, no, well, the, the Black Watch, you know, did look after that border for the Romans. Didn't well, they, they kind of, uh, the Black Watch, I think, kind of really forged the British Empire. There was a hugely powerful regiment, very, very distinguished regiment. And it was disbanded in Britain a while ago, I think for financial reasons, probably, to give more money to the Queen. <laughs> I look forward to your angry letters, English people on the internet. Uh, hmm. Cool, anyway. Yeah, we so, uh, yeah, you, you keep the horses, though, still, then. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. got uh, two that are pregnant at the moment. How many horses have you got? Five, five, uh, five nice horses and then a bunch of sort of working horses as well, or ones what, that we don't Evil ride. horses? Do you have some... <laughs> No, well, you see, there's, you know, uh, I have guys that work on the property who work with the, the cattle, so they have horses to ride when they're rounding up and stuff. You have cattle and horses? Mm. You're like a yeah. real dude. Yeah. Do you walk around there? You don't walk around Australia with your I got sunglasses on at night, though, do you? <laughs> nah, yeah. You never. never no, you that. would never do that no, there. Wouldn't oh. even do it. You think anymore. Russell wearing his sunglasses at night? What a winker. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell is that? What a tosser. Yeah, um... Yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah so... I've got two, the two uh, are in foal at the moment. One of them probably give birth in the next week or something. Well, that's adorable. Will that's you fantastic. be there? Yeah. Oh, I don't think I'll be there, actually, this time around. But, uh... It's fantastic watching the horses oh, ride. We never talked about the movie. The movie, that's what we have to talk about, the movie. The movie, you know when you were drawing the map, dun, 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 and Liam Neeson's going, Dad, you've got to get yourself out of there before they are. <laughs> 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 the food hold is on, made of poison. Hold on. What? I can't don't, hear you. <laughs> don't give away any more of the plot. <laughs> yeah, it starts on Friday. Yeah. That's all you need to know. There you go. Then. Are you going to go? Do you no. ever go to the movie theater when you're in the movie and just like kind of sneak in? No. <laughs> oh, actually, no. I did once. Yeah. Yeah. The the uh, DGA theater were having a screening of Cinderella Man. And Directors was... Guild of America for yours if you're not in show business like me. <laughs> and um, uh, I was doing a Q and A there afterwards, so I just really wanted to feel how the audience were responding to it so I, I went down the side of the building and and crept in the fire exit and and so I could look I couldn't see the screen but I could see the audience's faces right. and it was right in the final championship bout and it was crazy it was great you enjoyed it people were just covering their eyes and freaking out and one woman was just crying her eyes out it was fantastic <laughs> I mean that's not watching the movie that's watching the audience yeah yeah so you know it's I kind this... of like what you said but different but different yeah so what you're saying is yes but no I'm, I'm saying no but Okay, that's good. There was a, 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 a variation on the theme. Do you know that I heard a story about uh, Anthony Hopkins that went to a screening. He went to, in Britain, in the movie theatre, he went to a screening, just a regular, like, afternoon screening of Silence of the Lambs. Right. When that was out. And when it was finished, <laughs> he leaned over, because a woman sat in front of him, and he leaned over and went, did you enjoy that? <laughs> Isn't that great? That's very cool. Yeah. I mean, but that's a lot of sitting around watching your own movie for one joke, isn't it? <laughs> so what's next after that? What are you going down? Are you going back to Oz now? Are you still talking around all about the movie for the next couple of weeks? or Well, what the, the, I had a longer schedule, but it looks like I'm going to get to go home now, which is good. Oh, really? Yeah, go back and see the, the kids. And you, what age are your kids now? Then? Charlie is six, and Tennyson is four. So is Charlie riding horses yet, then? They've both been on horses. Yeah. Um... But Charlie's sort of, uh, he's decided he's, you know, a little bit wary of them now. But he wasn't when he was younger, but now, now he is. But Did, uh, did you grow up around horses? Was that because no, your dad was uh, talking to uh, barmaids with big chests? You can't. Right. <laughs> and before that, he used to do mufflers. <coughs> for cars. <laughs> for motor vehicles. And, um... Like you, I thought of that, too. <laughs> Um, do you do mufflers, Russell? <laughs> and when you do, do you wear your sunglasses? Let me put it this way. I think mufflers are very important. Yeah, they are. Let, let me tell you, mufflers are extremely important because without them, there's a lot of noise. <laughs> in I got, your pants. Yeah, in your pants, yeah. 
So, um, yeah, back to the horses thing. My parents were location caterers and they were driving through the western suburbs of the outer reaches where the Blue Mountains are once when I was about nine or ten and they found a place called Teen Ranch. Teen Ranch? Yeah, which was a Christian youth camp for uh -huh. kids. For kids. And at that stage, which is the early 70s, it costs, or mid-70s, it costs about $7 a week to send your kid away for a whole week. Nice. And they were like, bargain. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So they would pack me and my brother off to this place, Teen Ranch, and we would ride horses and sing songs for Jesus. Do you still sing songs for Jesus, Russell? On the occasion. Glad to hear it. Yeah. I'll whip out a hymn. <laughs> While yeah. I'm doing a muffle. No, no, no! <laughs> Let it lie, that's it. Hey, anyway, we're out of time now. Do you find the right. awkward pause or harmonica? Harmonica. All right. Ah, there you go. Do you play? I was wondering whether you... No, I don't. Oh, right, I, good, I good, have good. been pretty uh, was, yeah. What key have we got? Um, I don't understand the question. <laughs> All right, you good? Uh, hold on, I'm just looking for what the key is. All right. And so this yeah, is just me a too. general I, one. I think it's... Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's usually etched on the side. Don't get then. your fingers all over my damn organ, man. Look. I gotta blow that in a your, minute. Your organ's wet. <laughs> yeah, well, of course my organ's wet. I've, it's been in my mouth. How come I get the cheap one? I get the cheap plastic one. It's not. It, it, well, I've got the wooden one because wood's more durable. But it's smaller. You notice how mine is smaller than yours? I have a smaller organ than you, Russell. <laughs> What was the Matilda then? Go on then. All right then. Just the chorus? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now remember, you haven't paid for this. So when it's disappointing, you've really got nothing to complain about. It's like he knows the show! Ready? Come on, I'm telling you. One, two, three, four. If you're watching Craig at home, you're missing half the fun. Consider this your formal invitation to laugh live in our studio audience at a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Please give us a call at 323-570-0059 or visit our website at oneiota.com. an evil pussy behind the real one! <laughs> Isn't that often the way? <laughs> Absolute silence on lesbian room. Uh, uh, everyone's like... Now, um, my apologies to uh, Dr. Lisa Masterton, uh, who was going to be here tonight. She's going to be here on Monday. Uh, she's a obstetrician. She's a, a guy in a... She uh, talks about, you know... <laughs> and she'll be talking about that on Monday, probably. It's my guess. And <laughs> what did we learn tonight? We learned the Dalek was here and then left, and now he's left again. <laughs> Will the Dalek be back? Do we know? Maybe. <laughs> Um, uh, we also, uh, Russell Crowe was here talking about, uh, where... Wait, wait. He's not here now. What would be the point of that? Oh, a round of applause. He's gone. He doesn't care. He's gone. He's halfway to Australia by now. <sighs> well, um, we got to take a break. We'll be back in 23 hours. Good night, everybody.